the managers and the players change at Tottenham but the North London club's ability to self destruct remains the same. Brennan Johnson became the first player to score in six consecutive games in all competitions since Harry Kane in January 2019 as Ange Postacoglu's dominant side took a two-goal half-time lead. The game looked all over. But, Brighton responded by scoring three goals in 18 minutes after the breakthrough Yankuba Mint, Jorginho Rotu and Danny Welbeck for a ridiculous win to leapfrog Tottenham in the table. Spurs centre, back Mickey van der Ven, one of the heroes of the Old Trafford victory the previous Sunday, was at fault for two of the goals. It was also Spursy. Fabian Hutzler, the youngest boss in the Premier League who visited Tottenham last season to watch the oldest boss in action, gave Postecoglou's side a second, half lesson in piercing a high defensive line. Yet the problem for Tottenham is that they never learn. In March 2023 along the south coast at Southampton, Antonio Conte launched a rant where he slammed his selfish players. And the culture of the club when they threw away a two-goal lead to draw 3,3. The Italian was soon gone but Tottenham's frustrating inconsistency remains the same even in 90 minutes. From a super first half when they could have scored six. The second 45 minutes was as horrible as their second away kit. Tottenham had been bidding for a sixth consecutive win in all competitions since losing the North London derby to climb into the top six. And Postacoglu was seeking a third away victory in a week after beating Manchester United and then France Veros in the Europa League with four teenagers in the team. He sent out the same team as Old Trafford and the first goal had been coming even before Johnson's 23rd minute opener. Werner's cross failed to find Johnson in the opening 20 seconds and Kulusevski and Madison had shots blocked in the first five minutes. And Werner was denied a goal when Verbruggen fumbled his header after Porro was ruled offside on Novacek. A minute later, Spurs took the lead in classic Ange, ball style. Madison won the ball off Brighton's record signing Jorginho Rutu and Fed Solink. And the record Tottenham transfer celebrated his England recall by slipping a perfect pass for Wales Johnson to sweep home. He has now scored more for Spurs this season than in the whole of the last campaign. Madison was again left out of Lee Carsley's Three Lions squad last week but the Spurs playmaker enjoyed better luck when his low shot went through the hands of Bart Verbruggen. It took Albion's tally to 10 goals conceded in the last four games. They were terrible in the first 45 minutes of a classic game of two halves. Brighton came out after the break with a new left, back, Purvis S. Stupin and replaced Ferdy Kadiaglu, and a more aggressive attitude as Tottenham's old defensive frailties returned. Three minutes into the second half, both Mickey van der Ven and Destiny Udogi failed to clear. A mitoma cross and Yankuba Mint was free sweep home at the post after 48 minutes. Rutter took a short pass from the excellent mitoma to shoot home the equaliser. The third goal summed up the difference between the two sides. Rutter wanted a loose ball in the box more than any Tottenham player and the Frenchman slid in to cross for Welbeck to head home. Join our new WhatsApp community and receive your daily dose of Mirror Football content. We also treat our community members to special offers, promotions, and adverts from us and our partners. If you don't like our community, you can check out any time you like. If you're curious, you can read our privacy notice.